Hey guys, welcome back to Monoview. Today in this video, we're gonna continue talking about our network PTZ keyboard. Now, specifically what we're gonna cover in this video is how to install it. So we're gonna show you guys how to get it wired up properly. And then we're gonna go over the basic initialization, which is gonna get you guys connected to your PTZ cameras so that you can start moving them around and managing their functions. So getting started, we basically need to get this thing plugged in. That's going to require plugging the keyboard into a power source, which is just a standard outlet. And then we're going to integrate it into the network by plugging it into a router, or we're going to plug it into a switch, which then connects to a router. Keep in mind, we will not be plugging this into an NVR directly because unfortunately that's just not how this system operates. And so it has to be integrated directly into the network. Getting started, what we need to do first, we need to actually plug in the keyboard to a power source. So I want you guys to grab the 12 volt DC adapter that comes with this, and we're gonna plug it into the front just up here. And then we're gonna plug in that to a standard wall outlet. Now that it's powered up, uh, next thing we need to do is plug it into your guys's network. So again, we either need to plug this directly into a router or if you guys have a switch integrated into your system, we can plug it into a switch port. So in order to do that, we're gonna need a single ethernet cable and we're gonna plug into the network jack on the keyboard. And we're gonna take the other end and we're gonna plug it into our router for this example. Now, if you guys have a switch, we basically just have one extra step and that would be plugging it into one of the standard ports on the switch. And then we need to connect our switch back to our router. Hopefully you guys already have this done because it's already integrated into your network. But if this is a fresh setup, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from the network or the LAN port on your switch. It should be specially designated. And then you're gonna plug that into a standard port on your guys' router. One thing we'll need before we initialize this properly is we're gonna need the IP address for whichever device you guys wanna to connect to. So if your guys' PTZ cameras are attached to an NVR, we will need the NVR's IP address. If you guys have standalone PTZ cameras, we're gonna to need to acquire the IP address for those devices. In order to look up your guys' IP address for your NVR or your PTZ cameras, we're going to have to do two things. One, we'll need to download and open the Monteview Go application for your mobile device. Next, we're also gonna to have to connect that same smartphone to your guys' network. This means your guys' router. Hopefully it's a wireless router. And so if you guys go to your wireless settings, make sure you guys are fully connected to your guys' same network that is also hosting your NVR slash keyboard. So once you guys have done that, you'll notice that I'm on the Monteview network. I want you guys to open up the Monteview Go application and we're gonna click this little plus button in the upper right corner. Then we're gonna choose online search. Now this is going to scan your entire network for any IP devices. So it's gonna find keyboards, NVRs, you name it. It's gonna find cameras too if you guys have standalones. So once we've identified where our NVR is or our standalone cameras, we need to look at the IP address and copy that down. So once you guys have the IP address, that is all the information that we'll need from that particular device, and we're ready to start initializing the keyboard. Okay, for the rest of the setup, we're gonna be looking at the little keyboard screen and using the buttons that are found just below. So first, we're gonna press the setup button on the left side. We're gonna use the joystick to arrow down, and the username is going to be admin. We're gonna leave it like that. The password is going to be 888 888, that is six eights in total. Press enter. Go down to menu settings and press enter. Then go to zone and press enter. Now it's gonna ask us to create an ID for your NVR or your guys' camera. So go ahead and press any number you guys want. It's just gotta be one that you can remember to go back to. I've already made an ID for number one. So in this case, I'm gonna select ID number two. You guys can press the minus button on the focus section over here, and this will act as a delete button for what you've entered on screen, just in case you guys make any mistakes during this. Okay, we're gonna go down to name, and in order to name this, you can literally call it whatever you want. 
If you guys need to change between lowercase, uppercase, numbers, or symbols, you can press the shift button and you'll see it change up here on screen on the little right side. So for entering our letters, this is gonna be kind of like the old school cell phones when we used to use T9 Word. So you're just gonna press the corresponding number for the letter, and then you have to press it a certain amount of times depending on where that letter is. So watch this example, I'm gonna spell out test. And I know it's been a long time since any of us have had to do this, but yeah, it all comes flooding back pretty quickly. Okay, once we have that, we're going to go down to type, and if you guys have an NVR, we're gonna choose NVR. And if you have a standalone camera, we're gonna choose SD. Ignore all the other options. For link, we need to choose net. Now we're gonna enter the IP address we looked up before. So in my instance, I'm gonna put in 192.168.0.214. Now again, if you guys have an NVR, you wanna put the NVR's IP address. Next, we're gonna choose the port number of 37777. For the step option, we're gonna choose eight. And for rule, we're gonna have it say DH-2. Now we're gonna choose the user. Now this is for your guys' NVR or camera. So it's likely that it's going to be admin in all lowercase letters. And now your password, this one should be the exact same as your guys' NVR or camera. And if you guys have symbols, I'm gonna put up a little translation here. Uh, basically all of the numbers also equal certain symbols. Again, you're gonna press the shift button in order to activate the symbol typing. Keep in mind cam is the minus button, multi is the underscore, and auxiliary is the period. Okay, once you guys have your password in there, we're going to press enter and it should say successful on screen if everything went through okay. All right, the last step to choosing your PTZ camera when we're ready to start moving it around and managing it. For those of you with an NVR, there is an extra step. So I'd like you to press escape to go to the main menu. We're gonna select zone control. We're gonna put in that ID number. So for this one, I'm gonna enter two. The cam number, so because it's an NVR, now we need to choose which camera or channel that we're trying to find. So we're gonna press cam, then the number, so mine happens to be also on channel two, so I'm gonna press two. And then I'd like you to press PTZ up here by the screen. If done successfully, we should see this little arrowed pad on the screen. And if you guys move your joystick or press any buttons, now we should see your PTZ respond to those commands. All right, guys, hopefully you're now looking at a fully functioning network PTZ keyboard. If you guys ran into any obstacles or just couldn't quite follow along with this video, please feel free to reach out to tech support. We are here Monday through Friday to assist you guys with anything you need. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Keep in mind, we will be coming out with a third keyboard video that's gonna go over every single button and function that this provides. So it's gonna be kind of a lengthy one and a little bit advanced, but if you guys wanna truly master this keyboard, stay tuned for that one. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out immensely and I appreciate it a lot. Of course, it also lets you guys know when I'm dropping that new content. So it's definitely beneficial for y'all as well. Thanks for choosing Mon of you guys and you have a fantastic day.